Hey everybody, just one last video in the series, and what this will address is the ongoing maintenance, right? So we set up this CA offline, and we know we have to update the CRL every six months. So let's take a look at that and how we will do that. So we're going to start this server. This will be something that has to be done, so you have to have a reminder on this because else your CRL is going to expire and that will cause issues. So let's see if this is starting. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, so we're bringing this, this server up. So this is the root CA, the offline root CA. While we wait for that, let's take a look here. And let's actually open up Windows System 32. Uh, let's see, cert. Cert enroll. And here's where all the files are. Right now you can see there's a CA Where's the CRS? Yeah, right there. The root authority one. That's the one that we're looking at. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to log on to here. So we, this is not domain joined. Remember that. So we're going to log into here just with our administrator password, which we, we're keeping very safe somewhere in, a, in some kind of password safe. All right, let's open up Certificate Authority, Certification Authority here. All right, so what we want to do is we'll go to Revoked Certificates. Let's ch check Properties. So you can see right here, Publication Interval, six months. There's the next update. So that's perfect. You can check it right there under revoked certificates. And what we can do here is we can publish. So let's publish. So this is going to be a manual process. We're going to click publish. We're going to wait for this to come up. There it is. New CRL. Publish it. And now it should be in here, if we go here to see Windows System 32, cert serve, let's go there, cert enroll, and there's the new one just created. So now what we want to do is let's copy that, that file onto our subordinate CA. So that is uh, 10.170, 10.102. So we'll copy it over there. There we are, C dollars. Okay. Trying to move that over and we're going to copy this to here. And I'm going to replace that file because we already copied the first one in a previous step, but this one will be the new one that we're going to add into here, into this certain role. So let's open up over here. New file explorer. And in the root of C, we should have this new one. And there it is, right there. Perfect. OK. 
Okay. So then we're going to copy that right into our Windows System 32 and replace that file. And then when we open this up, here's what we can see. We can see that the next update is May 22nd. So then you're going to put yourself, put a reminder in your calendar, maybe in May 1st to update this. That is, that is it for updating your CRL and ongoing maintenance. And your, what else you want to do is uh, go back over to your, your CA and uh, just turn it off. Turn it off again. Shut down. And there you go. System's off. CRL is updated. Perfect. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.